Gentlemen, ladies, and cars that drive yourself and fight crime, start your engines. It's a 2011 Game of the Year contender. It's F1 2011. this guy get out of my way watch this you can't see it but my right hand is giving him the finger as I pass on the outside and then drop a banana peel behind me <laughs> there's no magic mushrooms that can save you now because Lord Carnage is headed for victory in one of the best racing games to ever grace the planet Earth F1 2011 with how it's been going so far. Always gives a good interview. Let's see, read some emails, and uh, do you see those girls flirting with me? How do you go out there and talk with them? What button goes outside? Devel developers. New DLC content. Flirting with the race bunnies. Maybe you can unlock that. Look at all the tracks in this game. Let's have my engineers set the car up to my liking. Please... Make sure there's a full cup of coffee in the cup holder, and it's time to race. A little bit of late braking goes a long way. This game is just phenomenal. It's impeccably well made, tons of fun, and packs a great challenge. And impressively, for the most part, F1 2011 keeps up with the speed of F1. It plays really well and looks beautiful, and sounds just as good in surround sound with the roars of the engine and the crowd noise. There's a few tracks like the Monaco track which get a bit jerky in the first person cockpit perspective. If you pull the camera back behind the car, it will smooth out some of the tighter tracks. I'm playing through the career mode in this game where you create a driver, choose a country, join a team, and then drive through an entire season where you can earn upgrades along the way. And like the classic Super Monaco GP for Sega Genesis, can work your way up to the best teams, who then give you access to the race bunnies. What? I'm just saying what everybody's thinking. The star here is the driving. It's awesome. That's why you play racing games, I, I think. At least that's why I play racing games. I would prefer it if this game had machine guns on the front, but I have to actually pass people without getting penalized. Although, when Lord Carnage is issued penalties, bad, bad things happen. Looks like the stewards have awarded you a time penalty. Looks like we'll be needing a few more stewards. The last ones were vaporized. Have I considered Dirt 3? Why, yes I have, and I like that game too, although this one is a lot harder. Like Dirt 3, F1 2011 is from Codemasters and is available on the Xbox 360, PC, and the PlayStation 3, which is the version we're watching here. I'm playing this using the Logitech Driving Force GT wheel, which works really well with this game, and a must-have accessory, the Play Seat, which makes the experience infinitely better, especially when you get it equipped with the rain generator that throws water in your face while you're driving. Ironically, I'm using the NASCAR seat. It always surprises people when Americans can turn right in this game. Whoops. The wheel and play seat enhance the experience, but this game is also drivable with your standard controllers. Just watch the aggression when you're overtaking. We don't want to lose places because of the penalty. Excuse me, did you just tell me how to drive? Sounds like we need a new crew chief. There's numerous assists that you can turn on or off. I'm a bit of a lead foot, so I find driving these things without traction control nearly impossible. But everything, including the race length and AI difficulty, is adjustable, making F1 2011 playable by anyone of any skill level, although in, in general it is much, much harder than your standard GT game. And for a GT racer like me, even on easy, this game puts up a fight. After going through one season on amateur, and then increasing the difficulty. I can tell you the objectives aren't exactly easy to meet. 
until you get used to the cars and obviously making the races longer and the AI harder will bring this game into a league of its own. My final thought in part one is that the track selection and recreation is awesome in F1 2011. Also, I love the weather effects. See you back here in part two. Do you think your performance this weekend was a true reflection of what you and your car are capable of?